or price fall the buyer of a derivative contract is facing the risk of price high while the seller is facing the risk of a fall in the prices the contract today and lock in the prices at which the underlying asset will be exchanged okay now this also helps in determining the fair price of the underlying asset because it is on basis of the future prices that the spot prices of the asset or are also influenced now again they are influencing each other it is not only the future price which is influencing the spot price but the spot price is also influencing the future price because future price is determined on basis of some adjustment in the spot price again that is based on expectations on how the asset prices <coughs> sorry will move in the future so again the demand and supply will help in determination of the price of the asset the fair price of the asset then third point third advantage of derivative contract is that it leads to market efficiency now yesterday i was uh, telling you that the main players in the derivative markets are hedgers speculators and arbitrageurs now you understand the meaning of all the three terms hedgers are the ones who are trying to reduce the risk as i told you the buyer and seller both the parties are trying to reduce their risk exposure a speculator will try to take advantage of the expected price movement okay and third party is arbitrageur what is an arbitrageur trying to do he is trying to make profit out of price discrepancies now if i talk about a derivative market then a arbitrageur and arbitrageur is looking for discrepancy major discrepancy in spot price and the future price of the asset okay now if there, there is a discrepancy then the arbitrageur will lock in opposite positions in both the contracts and try to make out profit from the thing now these kind of acts of the arbitrageur they help to bring the market to an equilibrium position jaise hum simple terms mein baat karte hain jab main simple example aapko arbitrage ka deti hu that you buy at a cheaper rate and you sell at a higher rate so what happens is because one person one party is doing this action everyone in the market starts following this so everyone will start buying at a lower rate so jahan par buy kar rahe ho aap us market mein aap demand of that particular product is increasing so ultimately the price will also increase and if everyone starts selling that product i'm taking a simple example if everyone starts selling the same product then the supply of that product in the market will increase and increase in supply will lead to a fall in prices how long does this continue till the point of time where buy price and sell price come to an equilibrium position okay so the same thing is happening in the derivative market also because arbitrageurs are taking buy and sell position to make profits if large number of arbitrageurs enter into these contracts and ultimately the price will stabilize it will come to an equilibrium position okay and last and very important point is access to unavailable assets or market now the benefit of a derivative contract is that at the start of the contract outright jo aap payment kar rahe ho that is very minimal as compared to the value of the contract which means say aap future contract purchase kar rahe ho तो आपको एक इनिशियल मार्जिन उसमें पे करना है 
अगेन फ्यूचर की अगर वर्किंग की बात करें हम प्रैक्टिकली तो उसमें तो डेली सेटलमेंट होती है बट द इनिशियल पेमेंट दैट नीड्स टू बी पेड इज अ स्मॉल परसेंटेज ऑफ द टोटल वैल्यू ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सो इवन इफ आई एम नॉट हैविंग द मनी टू मेक द एंटायर परचेज और सेल ऑफ द एसेट टूडे by paying a minimal amount i can enter into a derivative contract first the actual exchange will take place at actual exchange of cash will take place at a later point of time so with again in options what is the benefit you are paying a premium okay and by that you are getting the right to buy or sell the underlying asset in the future okay so as compared to the value of the contract the initial payment that is being made is very low so that enables a person to access unavailable assets or markets moving further we come to the details on forward contract more or less maine aapko explain kar hi diya tha forward contract basically is a private contract over the counter contract and it is a non regulated contract that is there is no regulator supervising the contract no regulator guaranteeing the contract koi clearing house nahi hai jo ultimate settlement karwayega contract ki so it is all based on the personal relations and trust of the counter parties involved it is a कस्टमाइज्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दी पार्टीज इन वर्ल्ड डिसाइड कितनी क्वांटिटी में हमने एक्सचेंज करना है किस रेट पे हमने डील करना है व्हाट शुड बी दी डेट ऑफ सेटलमेंट ऑल दिस इज एट दी डिस्पोजल ऑफ दी काउंटर पार्टीज इन वर्ल्ड ओके नाउ इफ यू हैव अ लुक एट दी डेफिनेशन इट इज एन अग्रीमेंट टू बाय और सेल एट अ प्री अग्रीड future point in time so i think there's a typing mistake here trade date and delivery date are separated you are entering into trade today and say this forward contract will settle in next 90 days at the end of 90 days okay so that is again it can be 92 days also 95 also it can stretch up to a number of years also okay so again at the disposal of the parties involved it is used to control and hedge risk the party which is buying is in long position the party which is selling is in short position assets generally traded include commodities but as i told you yesterday it is the forex market which has the maximum contribution to the forward contract okay so there's a simple example here if you plan to grow 500 bushels of wheat now this is again a unit of measurement you could sell your wheat for whatever price is when you harvest but say you want to lock in the prices today through a forward contract first you are planning to sell it to say company here mentioned is kelog for a fixed price by locking in the price now you can eliminate the risk of falling wheat prices so the uh, here the party which is planning to sell wheat wants to lock in the prices so that if there is any price fall in the future you are able to hedge your position against that on the other hand the counter party which is kellogg's here would want to purchase a forward contract so as to lock in the prices to avoid any price rise later so both the parties enter into the contract the forward contract today and they lock in the price of exchange okay now if this entire arrangement is taken privately then it is a forward contract if it is happening through a uh, exchange then it becomes a future contract 
Apart from this, there are other differences also in a forward and future contract. The main being that forward contracts they are settled on the maturity date, while the future contracts they are settled on daily basis. Okay, so we'll take an example for that also. Okay, uh, in the coming up slides. Now, uh, as I told you, the buyer is in a long position, heading against a price rise, and the seller is in a short position, heading against a price fall. Coming to a future contract, it is a standardized contract. You know that these are the uh, lots in which you can trade. Okay, so. Hundred, two hundred, three hundred, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Lots predefined है, pre-specified price है. Date of settlement is pre-specified. There cannot be any change in these terms of the contract. Okay. Apart from this, the as both parties risk their counterparty walking away. Now. The benefit of a future contract is that the chances of default are minimized because there is some upright margin which is paid, and then the marking to market margin (MTM) ensures a daily settlement. You have a clearing house in place, which will ensure that both the parties are settling the contract. Again, the buyer holds the long position. The seller holds the short position. Broad categories are commodity futures and financial futures. So, future trading is a zero-sum game. Buyer ka profit, seller ka loss hai. Seller ka profit, buyer ka loss hai. Now, uh, the downside is unlimited. Why is it unlimited? Because बहुत बारी आप जो actual में जो आप trading कर रहे हो वो margin पर कर रहे हो, which means you the investor might put in his own money or he can buy sorry he can borrow the margin amount from the broker also for which he is taking some he is paying some rate of interest, okay? So now, if the buyer is losing money, he is not only actually losing on the contract, but जो interest payment करनी है broker को, वो भी उस loss में add up हो जाता है. Okay? So the downside risk is unlimited. Okay? So there are unpredictable price swings and future contracts, as I told you, involve daily settlement. Coming to first the difference between forward and future contracts. Forward contracts. First point is the meaning. Second, I already told you one is a tailor-made contract, other is a standardized contract. Third is the trading uh, mode. One is an OTC contract, and other is an uh, other is a contract to a organized stock exchange. Okay, here I'll ask a question: Can derivative market have a primary segment? Can derivatives have a primary segment? Just think and tell me: Is there a primary segment in the derivative market? Yes or no? Make a guess. Is there a primary segment in the market class? Ma'am, do you mean like uh, there can be an IPO in FNO or not? Yes, yes. yes. That is. Ma'am, can I take a guess? Yes, yeah, sure. Ma'am, I don't believe so because to be listed in FNO, there has to be certain amount of market capitalization of a uh, equity share to be classified or qualified as FNO. Yes. 
absolutely right you are actually having derivatives on already issued assets aur agar hum yahan pe stock market ki baat kar rahe hain to already issued shares pe derivative contracts hain already issued jo bhi aapki डेट मार्केट के अगर आप इंटरेस्ट रेट डेरिवेटिव बात कर रहे हो तो देर इज नो प्राइमरी मार्केट एज सच फॉर डेरिवेटिव वी आर टॉकिंग ओनली अबाउट अ सेकेंडरी मार्केट ओके सो यस आशुअन कशिश यू आर ऑल्सो राइट हेयर दैट देर इज नो प्राइमरी मार्केट इन दिस सेगमेंट ओके नेक्स्ट वी कम टू सेटलमेंट Uh, you are settling the forward contract at the maturity date both parties can exit from the contract only at the maturity date futures mein daily settlement hota hai agar aapko lagta hai as a buyer or seller that you want to exit the contract you can take a counter position counter position in the contract to exit from the contract counter position means an opposite position So, so you entered as a buyer. You take a exactly equal position as a seller, and you can exit the contract. So these probabilities, these possibilities are working for a future contract, but they aren't working for a forward contract. The risk is high in a forward contract, while it is low in a future contract. Again, chances of default are dependent on the risk. then size of contract is fixed for a future contract forward contracts generally work without any security deposit any margin maturity regulation liquidity again will be high for a future contract because there is a secondary market available for future contracts but there is no such market for forward contract Okay, I hope all the differences are clear. Just as per the meaning of both the contract, these are the points of difference between them. Now we come to the working of future contracts. As I told you, that there is payment of margins on the same stock futures because in this paper we are specifically talking about stock derivatives. So. just have a look at few points here these uh, contracts have market lot expiry date unit of price quotation tick size and method of settlement so anyone has any idea what a tick size is um it will uh, it is uh, like for example i believe in nsc it is 0.05 yes but that is the amount by which the price movement is going to happen okay so what happens is uh, in the future market uh, there is a difference which is pre defined by which the bid and offer price can fluctuate okay so i am using certain terms here one is a bid price One is an offer price, and then uh, say on what is the uh, buying so offer here or actual me sell करने की क्या offer है तो ये quantity आ जाएगी यहाँ पे what is the quantity for which the bid is being made and the offer is being made. Now, what is a bid? What is a bid? I'm the price at which I want to buy a house. Okay. Yes, the price at which the buyer wants to buy. Yes, it's the buying price. Offer will be the price at which the seller wants to sell. So, let's take a simple example. There is a commodity future. This car. Uh, जो लास्ट ट्रेडेड प्राइस था से रुपीज हंड्रेड था ठीक है और अगर टिक साइज पॉइंट जीरो फाइव है तो इट मीन्स दैट जो डेली बेसिस पे बिड और ऑफर का प्राइस हंड्रेड से चेंज हो सकता है दैट कैन बी ओनली बाय दिस वैल्यू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव तो से 
नेक्स्ट बिड इज मेड एट नाइंटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन फाइव ओके स्प्रेड इज दशु वॉट आर यू आस्किंग हेयर स्प्रेड इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द बाइंग प्राइस एंड द सेलिंग प्राइस ओके ओके एंड से नेक्स्ट ऑफर द सेलर इज ऑफरिंग टू सेल एट हंड्रेड पॉइंट जीरो फाइव तो ऐसे सब्सिक्वेंट बिड्स और ऑफर होते हैं ओके okay? इसमें फिर आपका जो बिड है वो 99.97 पर आप नहीं कर सकते ओके एंड अगेन द ऑफर विल बी मेड इन डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इट कैन गो ऑन दी प्लस साइड और ऑन दी माइनस साइड बट इन दी सेम मल्टीपल not the exactly the multiple but in the same differences okay so this can be i'm taking 100.05 so again here it can be 99.95 and so on so that is what we mean by a fixed sums okay and method of settlement again a future price is Involving a premium for cost of carry. Cost of carry अगर आप फाइनेंस में सिंपल टर्म्स में समझोगे इट इज द ऑपरचुनिटी कॉस्ट और दी टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी इन्वॉल्व इट इज द इंटरेस्ट कॉस्ट ऑफ अ सिमिलर पोजिशन इन द कैश मार्केट कैरी टू मेच्योरिटी ऑफ द फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बेसिकली जितने टाइम पीरियड के लिए आपको ये बेनिफिट मिल रहा है थ्री मंथ का फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट है तो थ्री मंथ के हिसाब से जो इंटरेस्ट बनना चाहिए दैट विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन दी कॉस्ट ऑफ कैरी सो दिस इज हाउ फ्यूचर प्राइसेस आर डिसाइडेड ऑन दी बेसिस ऑफ दी स्पॉट प्राइस ऑफ द अंडरलाइन एसेट इन दी मार्केट ओके सो दिस इज वन सिंपल एग्जांपल व्हिच इज गिविंग यू एन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ हाउ दी फ्यूचर प्राइसेस आर डिटर्मेंड इन दी मार्केट सो से दिस इज अ वन मंथ फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इन्फोसिस का आज की डेट में जो शेयर है दैट इज फॉर सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड वाइल द इंटरेस्ट इन दी मार्केट इज एट सेवन परसेंट पर एन एम तो अगर आप वन मंथ के लिए फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट होल्ड कर रहे हो तो आपका कॉस्ट ऑफ कैरी भी जो होगा वो वन मंथ के लिए होगा सो विच यू कैन सी सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड इंटू सेवन बाय हंड्रेड into 30 by 365 so this is how the future price is determined okay and this 11.65 is the cost of carry of this future contract okay moving ahead commodity futures again very popular they involve the underlying asset here is just have a look at the last point they are helping you to lock in the price of say a raw material food energy metals these are some of the most popular uh, futures in the market actually energy futures are very popular okay so this is where we talk about the working of the future contracts margin is the amount of money that must be deposited with the clearing house by both the buyer and the seller and it aims to minimize the risk of the contract let's start with npm marking to market margin डेली सेटलमेंट होती है सो एज देवानश यू आर पॉइंटिंग आउट येस्टरडे दैट दी ट्रेडिंग साइकिल इन अ फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज टी प्लस वन सो वॉट डू वी मीन बाई टी प्लस वन हेयर इज दैट ऑन डेली बेसिस दी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज सेटल विद डिपेंडिंग ऑन दी प्राइस वेरिएशन देर विल बी सम अमाउंट विच विल बी डेबिटेड फ्रॉम वन पार्टीज अकाउंट and which will be credited to the counter party's account so let's understand the meaning mtm is imposed 
to cover loss that a member may occur in case the transaction is closed out at a closing price different from the price at which we entered into the contract okay so mtm is also known as a daily settlement i think instead of theory let's come to one question on mtm that will make the concept more clear so here's a question so there is a hindalco future you decide to purchase hindalco future at rupees 165 the lot is 2000 four days later on 4th december you decide to square off the position you want you want to exit from the contract at 170.10 0 okay now your buy price was 165 your sell price for this future contract is 170.1 you are making a share of 5 uh, sorry a profit of 5.1 on every share aapka lot size so 2000 hai so aapka profit kitna ho gaya is future contract se you have made a profit of 10000 200 okay now how will this reflect in your mtm settlement mtm basis pe ye contract kaise show karega kaise reflect karega aapke margin account mein kya kya adjustments honge just have a look you bought the contract on 1st december okay i'll just uh, recheck the price the price at which you bought the contract the future contract is 165 while the closing price on the same day on 1st december was 168.3 second december the price increase hota hai it reaches 172.4 third December the price is falling and on 4th December again there is a subsequent fall in the price so when we talk about the changes the daily settlement what happens is on day 1 i am talking from the point of view of the buyer now the price at which you purchased the share was 165 by the closing price is 168.3 so there is a net gain or increase in value by 3.3 per share okay so there should be one segment here one column here which should be the reference price reference price for the future contract so your gain is 3.3 per share at the end of the day your margin adjustment will be by 6600 rupees your account will be credited by rupees 6600 okay so this happens this adjustment takes place in your account on the first day of the contract now second day of the contract again there is an increase in the price but now you do not compare the second day's price with the purchase price you are comparing it with the previous day's closing price okay so if i talk about day 2 so mera reference price 165 nahi hoga 168.3 hoga 165 was the reference price for day 1 for second day the reference price will be 168.3 okay so the increase in the value again there is a net gain and now it is by 4 rupees and 1 paisa again per share pe aapko ye profit ho raha hai so 
you add eighty two hundred to your account to your trading account. Okay, but on the next day you are seeing a fall in the price, and the price is reducing from one seventy two point four to one seventy one point six. अब कितना लॉस होगा इस केस में बायर को वॉट विल बी दी लॉस वॉट विल बी दी मार्जिन एडजस्टमेंट क्लास वन सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर माइनस वन सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट सिक्स दैट विल बी दी लॉस पर शेयर यू मल्टीप्लाई इट विथ टू थाउजेंड यू गेट दी cumulative adjustment not the cumulative adjustment but the margin adjustment that will be minus 1600 so aise karke daily basis pe jo settlement ho rahi hai jo adjustment ho rahi hai aapke account mein that will look like this so you can have a look here this table that you see as i told you for the first two days your account is being credited but after that there is a fall and your account is being debited a profit of one party is loss of the other party agar aapka account credit ho raha hai to seller ka account debit ho raha hai and vice versa when there is fall these amounts are debited and ultimately your profit is coming to 10200 okay but jo initially humne 10200 nikala tha wo aise settle hota hai daily basis mein in case of a future contract okay this is known as marking to market or daily settlement any question here